And uh, I think you'll see over the coming days uh, significant uh, achievements being rolled out uh, on our efforts to help uh, power Africa going forward to deal with uh, health security, to deal with food security, uh, to deal with peace and security issues, uh, good governance. Um, and what we're hearing too, Wolf, is that we have a lot of business leaders in town for this, and there is a real thirst to get more involved and invested in Africa. Six of the ten fastest growing economies of the world are in Africa, so the President's taking advantage of that. This is a major undertaking. Uh, very quickly, on the uh, Israel-Gaza uh, proposed ceasefire is supposed to start 8 a.m. local time in Israel and Gaza tomorrow morning. You, you think it's going to work this time? Look, well, uh, it, it should. Uh, the fact is, Israel has achieved uh, its core objectives in Gaza. It's dealt with the tunnels. You've heard the Israelis say that. Uh, it's able now to deal with the rockets from outside of Gaza if it has to. I think the burden is going to be on Hamas to demonstrate uh, that it will live up to uh, the ceasefire. And then there's an opportunity to see if they can get to a more uh, durable ceasefire and then deal with some of the underlying issues that has to start with Israel's security, <coughs> dealing much more definitively with the rockets, uh, with the tunnels over time, but also dealing with the development uh, of Gaza so that people can live under different conditions. Tony Blinken is the Deputy National Security Advisor to the President. You guys got a lot going on over there, uh, Tony. Uh, we will stay in close touch with you. Thanks as usual for joining us. Thanks, Wolf. And let's hope that ceasefire does hold 8 a.m. Israel, Gaza time, tomorrow morning. Coming up, we're going to have more on the Middle East ceasefire agreement. Also, is there really any hope for a long-term deal? I'm going to speak with the chief Palestinian negotiator, Saeb Erika. He's standing by live.